I'm curious about the map here. Seems to indicate that I can go higher over here. Right over here. Which I think would take me here. Which I think isn't a separate floor I've never been to yet. So that could be worth a check. Try to follow the map straight there to see if I can figure out what it is. Straight down the hall. Have I been in- I feel like I've been through there, right? Yeah. So I think I've actually managed to miss this, uh, grav lift until now without trying it out. Shut down the grav shafts to keep them from spreading utility on my computer. Tooling room lower level. Scott. I've already been in here, yeah. Warning. Air supply system just didn't, malfunction. I just didn't specifically go here. Until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Howdy. <laughs> it's so completely silent. Welcome to Mia's office. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Might be able to hack into here. Very carefully. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, there we go. It's a struggle. Definitely feel like that's probably designed for- ooh. Neuromods. That definitely feels like a minigame more designed with controller in mind than WASD. Just because of the total lack of sense- uh, total lack of, uh... Sensitivity, I guess you would call it? I don't know, because, uh... WASD are binary inputs as opposed to joystick inputs which have, uh, intensity levels. All right, I don't need no password. I can do this pal nonsense. Ah, okay. Really? What? Oh, whoops. <laughs> that was a really bad mistake. There we go. Cut off. Uh, from Mia Bayer to Scott Parker. Scott, it's Warning. hopeless. Oxygen I don't think there's a critical. way to get through Please these monsters. Uh, those monsters. I'm going to hole up in flight control and hope they don't spot me. Just shut down the grav lift before you go. Keep those things from getting up here. Mia, I've taken the grav shaft online, but I'm not leaving you behind. I've holed up in my office and I have a pistol. If I see a chance for you to, uh, for you to make a break, I'll turn the grav shaft back on and let you know. Re uh, restock from Regina Sellers to Mia Bayer. Hey Mia, we set, uh, sent you some pharma fabrication plans so you can start restocking your supplies without going through any red tape. Let me know if you need any others, Regina. From Galo Safe to Mia Bayer Windows. Mia, those windows in the flight control room are done. You should have much better visibility of the shuttle bay. You can even watch Lloyd smoke cigars by the fuel manifolds now. Keep in mind, they're not made of the same grade as the station exterior gr glass. It's tough stuff, but you can still crack it. I've seen you pound your desk when you get pissed at, at Niles. Just saying. They're specifically hinting at the idea. There's the cutoff thing with the graph shift shaft, obviously, which is... We've already passed that, but they're also saying that the windows are breakable. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. The hint at the windows being breakable makes me think that there's something outside the window that I would want to break it for. There's bars, though, which means that I would need to be in alien mode if 
and shape shifting and stuff if I want to get through, I think. Unless there's another breakable window somewhere that has better exposure. I've taken to just hate. I've, t I've hit the point now where I just take the headphones off every single time I read emails now, just hoping nothing sneaks up on me, because I don't like that voice playing periodically when I'm in the middle of trying to read something. Language center of the brain does some weird things sometimes. And having a relatively loud voice in your head while you're trying to read something really screws with things. Come on out. Can you s open, please? There we go. Come with me and you'll be supply system malfunction. Please in a world of murder by a buckshot. Engineer or an operator. Bye. Whoa. Long way. Part of me goes back into Dishonored mode where I think I, I think I can hold down space to double jump. Because this game feels so much like Dishonored control wise. I often find myself trying to do Dishonored things. <laughs> and in that you can hold space to do a sort of a double jump. Ooh, even more. Niels, where are you? Escape pods. Can you get to us? No. We cut the power to the lift to keep those damn things from getting up to the control room. Well, well we're, we're all stuck here anyway. We can't get these pods open. I don't understand. I'll keep spamming the security computers with help requests. Maybe someone will notice eventually. Yeah, maybe. Oh. So she was stuck up here for good until she finally died somehow. There were no mimics, mimics in the room, although they were in her in her office, so they weren't far off. Flight log, Scott Parker. Shuttle Advent. Paired by uh, Scott Parker, flight engineer, Talos 1. Captain Tom Cooper. Earth liftoff was at 0900, conditions nominal. Pre-check certified, four executive passengers, mail cargo. Flight was uneventful until 11.33 when radar detected an unidentifiable, identif unidentified shuttle approximately 30 degrees off our flight path at 9,000 kilometers. Its drift and rotation indicated malfunctioning maneuvering thrusters. There was no answer to radio calls. Captain Cooper ordered a course of adjustment to bring us alongside. As we maneuvered to within 60 kilometers, a second shuttle appeared on radar in the vicinity of the drifting vessel. Transponders identified it as a military vessel. We received a... Radio message to resume our original heading immediately. Captain Cooper asked uh, if assistance was required, and the order from the military shuttle was repeated. All highly unusual, but then it got really strange. The captain spotted at first there was a facility out there, and it was running absolutely dark. No lights, radar transparent. We were too far to see any details, but it was big. Cooper snack, uh, snapped into action, uh, punched in a course to Talos, and fired the engines. We moved out as quickly as possible. Our passengers were clueless to the entire encounter. Our arrival at Talos went smoothly, and the passengers and cargo were delivered safely. Volunteer flight schedule. Board members, no cargo. There we go. New hires and care packages, volunteers and crew packages. They left the strange facility completely, right? Like they saw the strange dark facility but didn't actually engage with it? Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. I wonder how that works timeline-wise. Like maybe if that could have been, had something to do with the encounter with Typhon material on the outside of the ship in the first place a while ago. A jetway. Would you look at that? That's interesting. I'm not entirely sure why I would want that. 
because it's just a random walkway that points at nothing, as far as I can tell. Let's see, shuttle control. Is this where the... what's the other... Flight system check. That must lead up to an actual... That must be something that would lead up to an actual vehicle, right? If there was a vehicle here? Because this is the shuttle bay? That's how you board the shuttle, I suppose. But right now, that doesn't really apply. How's that map looking? Yeah, that's basically the rooms to check out around here. Don't see any ceiling stuff up here. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. I figure we're pretty much good to go. Alright. Sort my inventory just to make it auto-combine. Neuromods are up to three again. Let's see, I got hacking three, right? So now we can either go towards hacking four, which is expensive as all hell. Increase the effectiveness of medkits by 300%. Let's grab that. There we go. Now it's installed forever. Getting a lot of progress here. I'm gonna start going into actual stat points soon, I think. I'm always so hesitant to get minor stat improvements when I get stuff that can give me new abilities to move around. So, like, I want... I want to be able to hack doors, and I want to be able to... What is that? Is that a body down there? I think so. I always want to, like, hack doors and pick up objects and do stuff that helps me get around over... I have ten more health. I'm, I, I always think, like, I can make do without. Rodrigo Diaz. Oops. Some of these bodies are hidden in some very hard-to-find spaces. You were very missable, weren't you? Did I put those there? No, you did, didn't you? Is that what's going on? Is that this... That's how he got up here, where he tried to escape? But then he probably died due to lack of oxygen, since this entire place is completely ventilated, unfortunately. I could investigate, but I, yeah, I don't see much re much reason why this walkway would be useful in its current state. System malfunction. Please evacuate until re the game didn't actually point me at going here when I came here. I came here possibly early, unless it's an optional location. It could be an optional location that you visit whenever you feel like. Or it could be a uh, place that I visited early. Because it was available. But I'm, f I'm figuring this probably matters at some point. Yeah, there's a big open door. There's sirens everywhere. Probably a shuttle that's going to go through here. And then this walkway probably leads me to that. For now, I've just extended it because there was a button to press. And I like to press buttons. And that's my amazing logic. This is the Talos lobby. So I have multiple things I want to investigate here. Uh, I want to backtrack to the black box... ...lab, whatever it's called, quest thing. Because we, uh, we found the body of the person who fled with that information. And then I also want to check in on the December's quest. No one's attacking me yet. And yeah, there's still that one floating objective waiting around that I've been ignoring until now. About, uh... It's like, hey, do you want to extract... Do you want to murder that guy for stuff? Or do you want to leave... Or let him out? And I'm like, nah, he can just stay there as a prisoner. <laughs> and he might stay there for the rest of the game. Sometimes, opting not to do a thing is one of the choices. It's like the idea of uh, going with the dot 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 ellipses silence option in uh, The Walking Dead Season 1, aka The Good One. Uh, or even recently in uh, Mass Effect, I recently, on, on one of the last planets of the game, I encountered a side quest where I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore you, was my response. Why did you explode? That is December. You might need this, M-6466. Hello? December is destroyed. 
search Alex's office safe. Is Alex's office here? I don't think it is. I can't tell what the other floors are because I can't... There we go. Power problem. Might be time to leave. December has some trouble. All right. Well, if December's already blown up, then I guess we're not going to be having a lot of conversations unless they're downloaded somewhere else. I'm still generally kind of baffled by the very idea that my character let multiple copies exist. Okay, let's try to track down the actual objective. What's going on here? It's the Arboretum? I've been contacted by another operator named December. Like January, it has my voice. However, December's directive is to help me escape Talos 1. It claims that before I lost my uh, memory, I, I hid the key to Alex's private escape pod in the debriefing room of the Neuromod division. It looks like Alex figured out my its scream first, th scheme first though. The key was gone. I found a strange note on December though, with a key code to a safe in Alex's office. Maybe the escape pod key is there. And it's... Final six drop points and te around Talos to recover small goods. Set as active? Or is, is there a limit on how many can be active? Just was inactive and I wasn't really sure why. The problem is that it's in the Arboretum. Have I, where is that again? The Arboretum's there. That's just Talos 1 bridge. Have I been to the Arboretum before? I remember that one. I remember the Nermid Mod Lobby, Psychotronic, Start Shuttle Bay. I think Arboretum might be part of my goal of where to go from Guts. Yep, Arboretum's my current goal in the main mission. Okay. So that's why I, I'm not used to that location. So that's where the key quest is going. A lot of things going on here. So I could try to use a security station to try to hack, uh, track Hunter Hale, pilot of the shuttle Exalt. Let's look into that. I know where I can find a security station, hopefully. Uh, right here. Turned around for a second there. Just double checking it real quick. I can just hack you now. Um, damn it. I mix up whether the destination or the starting point is me sometimes. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, because the destination flashes on first, then the uh, then my character flashes on second. I often look at it like I, I like I expect the uh, destination to be the one I'm controlling, and I'm like, wait a minute, ah, I did it again. The so shotgun fabrication, and just one of each of the three different grenade types. That's fine. It's useful. No, no big deal, but useful. So their name is Hunter Hale. I wonder what percentage of people I've found so far is... I mean, they're probably in Cargo Bay, right? No. I breed them. Is Alex Yu alive? In fact, a lot more people are alive there. Majority crew are apparently alive. It's weird to see that many living people safe. Oh, safe because that's the person that I let out. A lot of names to check and there's no search bar. You think a database of names would have a search bar? 
So you could search for a name. That's how most databases work. Instead, I search not not alphabetically. In fact, there's no alphabetical option, but in, or maybe I can sort alphabetically. Oh, you can. But I unfortunately have to sort by category. Shuttle bay, maybe. Hunter hail, pilot. No life signs. Telos one exterior. That's unexpected. I didn't think they'd be outside. Okay, that gives me something to look for out there then. In the meantime... Which one is it? Is it directly above me, I think? I need to find my way towards the Black Box Project. Found information on Josh Dalton, designer of the Hardware Labs, has gone missing. I found Josh Dalton dead in guts and had transcribed presenting evidence of an altercation with his co-worker Lane Carpenter. A broken Q-beam was near his corpse. Perhaps the black box text involved was is involved with high-energy beams. A laser lab in Hardware Labs may provide the answer. So we're going to Hardware Labs, which we have been to. I know that, I think it's on this side too, but it was on the fourth floor. The Arboretum's up there. Hardware Labs. Ah! That's at the end of the walkway where I. Yeah. That was like the first place we went to, essentially. When we were leaving this zone for the first time. I think that's where I fabricated my uh, jump jet ability. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go to the teleconferencing. I, f I think new enemies have spawned before in places I've been to already. But not lately. In we go. There's something satisfying about trying to get the layout of these places figured out in your brain, adapting to the general shape of them. It's something that's that's nice about the whole Metroidvania-ish concept. The extent to which this would be called in a Metroidvania varies, but it's that general idea at least. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, how many things are around here? Okay. So, uh, that went poorly. <laughs> Mostly because I should have actually paused to heal at some point, but Jesus! You don't expect to go through a door and just have, like, waves of enemies over there. That's a bit of a surprise. Let's try... let's see. That's the soul-destroying one, or side-destroying one. That even hit a single one of them? It didn't. Okay, that's a problem. Yep. This is a problem. Alright. Try again real quick. <laughs> Wrenched him. Anyone else? Anyone else? Seriously though, why isn't- why is- Why are these three hotkeys health and psi and food? Yeah, but there's no one for suit integrity. That's bizarre. Alright. That more or less worked out. Um, Which one of you is it? That one? Okay. Well, it's time to pick up a bunch of things. And reload a shotgun. That was not very nice of you, game. Just throwing so much murder at me. First, uh, recycler charge did not work out at all. I thought it was gonna... I thought, I thought they were all gonna be grouping up in the doorway, so I'd suck them all up, but that didn't really happen. Really? Where is it? There we are.
Ow. Probably shouldn't have walked towards that. Oh. How's that working out now? Calm down, game. This became such a dangerous room this time around. I think I just fought more enemies in this room than I fought the entire first time I went through this area. To calm down. Alright. Looking around for, uh... Balls of matter and any other thing I can... Get... get materials out of. Those little things go everywhere. Did I get out of the balls? And how do I even keep... Oh. Not really good sounds happening around here, but that was the... more or less happening the first time around, I think. What's that? Yeah, there's another phantom nearby. The usual documents are all here. I think I looted everyone, but I'm not really completely sure. I'm gonna move on, though. Oh, well. Alright, so my goal is to get somewhere, uh, up upstairs, Beebs and Wave Lab, yep, off to the right from the main, the main atrium location, so I'm gonna wanna go upstairs from here. Then I'll probably wanna go out outside to find the other, the other people, So apparently that's something I can investigate too. Guys are everywhere. Yep. Yeah, he's right there. Gotta get more stuff. Where's the light? Oh, it's down there. Got jumpy for a second there. Oh. A lot of new enemies spawned around here. It's like they know I progressed a quest, so they ha they're insisting on, like, making things worse for me as I try to track trace back. In fact, that's probably exactly what's happening. No fizz gigs allowed. This is a distinctly no fizz gig zone. What? What was doing that? I suppose it's probably just one of them that's still alive? Or is it under me? Oh! That's not what I wanted to do. Well, I guess this place is kind of devoid of enemies if I'm not aggroing anything now. Oh, there it is. Oh boy. Ah. Come back, friend. I want a hug. What? Uh. Uh. Son of a bitch. Really makes it hard to aim. Where, where is this? Is there a corpse to loot? Is that it? There it is. Thought there would be one. Boy, they really screw with your ability to aim and towards them. It's their clever little move. But I got it eventually. 
Boy, oh boy. They get their mileage out of these uh, areas you've been to before. Okay. Is that how you want to play it? How is it still radiation-y over here? I got a fun little friend for you. Really didn't work out. As it turns out, that didn't work out at all. Got Completely misjudged where I wanted to throw that uh, canister at first. Hello. Guy that looks like he has loot, but actually doesn't because it doesn't instance correctly and stuff. There we go. Lane Carpenter is still in freaky monster mode behind this door. Now I should be able to open up. Hey, my turret's still here. Who's my best buddy? I'm just generally not going to want to have too much crap on the way. Feels like a generally good idea to clear the line of sight for the turret as best I can. So that I can shoot things, hopefully. There we go. That'll probably make it work. You're not getting out of the way, are you? Come on, be a buddy. Come on out. Hee hee hee. You doing alright, buddy? Yep, didn't get you. You're, you're a good distraction friend. Oh, you're not lootable. Those are usually lootable, but instead that one is that. Alright. Peekaboo. Nope. No one's around. Alright, well, let's find out what the black box project is. Even though it probably involves Q beams, which we kind of already know about. Ooh. Well, it appears to be a lot of Q-beam ammo, at least. Oh my goodness. A lot of Q-beam ammo, were they? Seems like they were taking out down machines and then, like, using them to fabricate more robots, basically. Med kit. Petri dish. Yeah, it seems like they were making Q-beam stuff out of all the, uh, the operators they were seemingly taking apart. Oh, the black box. Oh, Black Box was going to be an Android thing the operator that has a Q-Beam on it, apparently. Huh. That's for file. Hello. Black Box Memorandum, William Yu. Attention to William Yu, Project Lead, uh, Lane Carpenter, Department, Hardware Labs. Black Box Project, the Q-Beam attachment for NCN9 Black Box Military Operator is progressing ahead of schedule. Development of outstanding tasks has broken down below. Microcooling plate optimization, 87%. Re uh, recirculating ambient control, 70%. As you can see, we are nearly there once the, con once the cooling system has been optimized and, and migrated into the Q-Beam firing mechanism. P prototypes will be sent Earthside. Testing is proceeding as planned. Preliminary results show promising excitations in the molecular structure of energized systems. Live target not yet tested. E-beam fabrication plan, yeah. Already have that, but let's download, download another one. Uh, that's it. Uh, Quasi-particle beam is a prototype directed energy weapon stream of volatile quasi-particles causes rapidly cascading excitations in energetic systems at a matter of matter at the point of rupture. No emails, no other things. Alright. 
So that's that then. Mostly boils down to that. The quest is over. We took care of the monster behind the door, who is unfortunately very much not a savable human being, unless there's a way to turn those guys back later, which is, uh, if that's the case, awkward that I have uh, definitely not been prepped for that. 